Thumbnail. Welcome. <laughs> hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my sister Erin's makeup. <gasps> I'm going to be showing you the products I use on my face every day. I took a poll on Instagram and asked my followers to ask us some questions that we can answer while we are doing makeup. What do I do with my hair? Oh yeah, let's put a headband on. Wait, I'm like actually so confused. Okay, they're gonna show up because we know you. Jenna loses everything, everything, but it'll be lost for like a day and then show up. Pretty much. <laughs> she a cute Mormon. Okay, bicep queen. Unboxing. Um, Jeffrey just sent these to me. The brand is Japanesque. Really highly recommended. It comes with two tips. <laughs> Eyebrows on fleek. The, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Big vine girls. You look really tan. I look really pale, so that's fun. First thing I'm gonna do is... Clean Erin's face with this Clean Beauty Naturally Nourishing Skincare with this Witch Hazel I got from TJ Maxx. I got you, bro. Yeah, this was literally $7 from TJ Maxx. I used this last night for the first time, so I can't give you a, an honest review, but it did make my face feel really soft and clean. It's not oily or anything. Oh. And I- oh. Shout out to Gavin Ill for going to Japan and getting me my fan. One day when you're famous, I'll be your fan blower. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer that I use. Olay Complete Normal Daily Moisturizer. And it also has SPF in it, which I really like. This is something I use pretty much before bed or if I do remember to put it on before I do my makeup, I like to. Especially if I'm going outside for the day because like I said, it has SPF. got some questions like we said before what are your current favorite beauty products for the summer I'm gonna go with the witch hazel <laughs> I like this color a lot I always buy the Sephora lip stain so this is the number 13 Sephora I'm pretty sure it's called marvelous mauve and it's like 14 bucks like pretty cheap it lasts forever and it actually stays on really well yeah it stays on good so i'm gonna put this on erin today that is a beauty product duh oh i was thinking like yeah i was thinking more like actual yeah. makeup but yeah no my brush is 100 percent 110 so next i'm actually going in with the born this way Too face foundation in the color fair and i actually really like this foundation for me it's hard to find a foundation that um really stays on your face all day something i want to get into though is primer and i know like a lot of makeup artists say like primer is like pointless someone asked how the jeffrey star brushes feel on your face phenomenal oh my gosh this is making me pale I'm gonna look like Edward Cullen. Oh my god. I'm fine with that. You know what? We're fucking going with it because I'm a Twilight Queen. What foundation do you use, Erin? I use NARS, but it's pretty, like, it's not full coverage at all. It's pretty thin. So if I just want, like, a quick face, it spreads pretty thin, but then you can layer up. Are we twins? Yes. No. Who's older? We actually get that question a lot. Like, who's older? Mm hmm. And I want to say I come out on top a lot of the time. Jenna gets, yeah. A lot of people think I'm older for some reason, but Erin's actually three years older than me. And yeah. we're kind of like Irish twins, but we used to look a lot alike when we had the same color hair and the same length hair. And then it was just an eye color difference. Yeah, I used to be blonde. 
I used to have long brown, hair. I used to have brown hair before that in high school. True. We used to both have brown hair. It's our natural color. This is my natural color. We went blonde. You got an ombre first, I remember. It literally, we have to put that picture in there. I will insert the picture of us going to the Jones Don't Feather concert, concert with yeah. the orange and pink pants. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Water goes. Water goes. Water goes. Water goes. My hair looked like it got set on fire. By the way, I'm going in with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm really gonna look like Evercon. I'm fine with it. It's really okay, okay? Okay, more questions. Yes. What is softer, the brushes or your cat pepper? Oh, pepper. Pepper, yeah, pepper. these are really soft, but but these are like vegan, so no animals. So I have yeah. to go with the wait. So, what is it made with? I don't know. These guys are really, really soft. They're really soft, but my cat is really, 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 really soft. No, she's really soft. Not even kidding. Next, I'm going to bake her face with um, this is the shine free Maybelline loose powder. My Jeffree Star powder. I forgot what I was saying. Is on its way. It's supposed to be here like tomorrow. Favorite memory with each other and worst memory. Ooh, we, we have, have a lot of favorites. favorites. Um, What's something you think of though? I was gonna say all our concerts. Yeah, but that's like so many. Like, I'm trying to think of like one specific time. I'm just like growing up because like every memory was you, too. Oh. I definitely agree though that like our concerts are like our best like significant event memories <laughs> If that made sense Exactly Um, our worst memory was <laughs> I used to get so pissed at Jenna Because she would show up Okay, our middle school and high school was in the same building She would like show up looking like hot shit in my clothes Mind you, in like high school, I had a very select, like I wore the same five Hollister outfits like <laughs> Monday through Friday. I took that Hollister outfit. And she would like over. show up one day with like one of my shirts and I would like be so mad in school. And, and I would have to like walk down the opposite way of the hallway to avoid her. One day I came home and she opened her door, her bedroom door, because I knocked on it. And all of a sudden I just like cocked back and slapped her across the face and she was like... <laughs> That memory was so bad, I suppressed it, and I don't remember. Like, I actually don't remember. And I instantly was like, oh my gosh, and I, like, hugged her. So I'm gonna do her eyebrows off camera, and yeah. So take a before look. Bye. Okay, we're back. So now I'm going to eyebrows. Do did. I'm going to add this NYX liquid blush highlighter. Ooh. That I love this. Yeah. Dante's mom actually gave this to me. So thanks, Michelle. And I actually really like it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on her cheeks. And then I'm gonna go in with this City Mini palette, which I talked about in my last video by Maybelline, and do some light purples on her. She did my makeup with that the other night. It was so cute. How would you rate your neighbors? Did Christina ask this? Mm -hmm. Negative three. I'm just kidding. I was going to say negative one, so <laughs> that's a little more harsh. No, they're 10 out of 10. Yeah, um, my best friend grew up next to me, so I'm really lucky to have her really close. And now she's finally home from school. She went to Delaware, so we haven't been living next to each other in a few years now. And now they're both home. But guess both. what? Do your neighbors have a strawberry garden that will let you <laughs> pick from them? And tomatoes? They do grow mean gardens. Oh, but like they would be away in Spain over a summer and be like, oh, go pick out of our garden. We would go like pick it's so fun to pick your own fruit we never I never did it they're like family we've known them our whole lives and they're really great she, who's your favorite youtuber I know Emma Chamberlain yeah we I actually do love her and what about the other girl that but like sings Jeff raps sings raps Savannah Savannah Brimer I actually yeah she's I cute. like them yeah she's cute but I like Emma and I like Jeffrey and there's James Charles was so early 2019 <laughs> I actually love James right about before Tati? the whole scandal. I do like Tati. I, I love them all. What can I say? Who do you like? Do you watch YouTube? I don't. 
I also really like, I'm into um, true crime a lot, so like, and I know you like true crime too. Savannah does those, but I like yeah. watch a few with you. Um, well, yeah, so Savannah Brimer, she has a podcast now, so I listen to that on my way to work, and it's about true crime. I think it comes out every Wednesday. Wait, that's cool, I didn't know that. Yeah, so she switched from doing it on YouTube to her podcast. Fun. Check her out, she's cute. It's fun because they really do act like people you would like get along with. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of how I James feel. James Charles is shady because- Stop! When... What if he watches this? I'm just kidding. You're a shady bitch. I love you, James. What was it like for both of you to grow up in a small town and go away to a big university? So we went to the same college, but I was a senior when, and when she came in as a freshman. But we kind of both felt like we needed that like big town, big like university type feel. Definitely a culture shock, like literally and figuratively. I hadn't met anyone really of different cultures or beliefs. So when we went there, I was like, wow, there's so much more for me to know, see. People are really fascinating. I feel like that's why we have like a very how would you describe like our outlook like we kind of are like open to woke or open scared. to other people like i just life feel like styles. life really like started because i like saw more of like what life had to offer besides just what my like small town had to offer and i don't know it was just like a really really good experience and the best four years ever so <laughs> i'm gonna go in with um better than sex to face uh, mascara but i'm just gonna do this off camera so i'm gonna have erin do her own mascara as you can see but i also want her to try this snap scara by maybelline and it's actually this cool like burgundy color Ooh, i'll try it on one eye so i'm gonna make her do it on one eye and yeah We're almost done. Burgundy, better than sex. Wow. What do you think about global warming? It's avoidable. Yeah. Just, Just kidding. Put it it's not avoid. It's like not avoidable. No, it's preventable. We can prevent further global warming if everyone does their part. What's my favorite thing about Erin? Well, honestly, she gives great advice, and she really is just, like, the actual best sister. Like, everyone's gonna say no, like, my sister's the best, but, like, no. She kind of treats me like I'm her, like, child. Wait, that sounds so creepy. I don't know, I just, I like that we're really similar in a lot of ways. Okay, open your mouth. Uh, we're, <laughs> I'm getting some dandles on like <laughs> Your lip is quivering. <laughs> but then again, we're really not, so I think we like balance each other. Mm -hmm. And I really admire that she's really super freaking smart. Because some of us don't have a computer. She's super smart, and um, basically just like stay tuned for the book I'm writing about her because I could go on for fucking days. <laughs> after, yeah. after I put the lip on, I let it dry. Because it gets yeah. dry pretty quick. Oh, my favorite God. thing about Jenna, though, there's so many, so I'll go for a few. She gives really good softies, like this. I knew you were going to say that. Super open-minded and non-judgmental. I can see you. Sometimes I'm judgy. She, like, cares about others very deeply. And always does what's right and stands up for what she believes in. She's the best sister. So stay tuned about my podcast about her. Oh, you're doing a podcast. <laughs> I'm, well, trying I'm doing an audio book. <laughs> and I'm trying to do a documentary on HBO. <laughs> okay, that just got really extra. Um, okay. But yeah, she's the best. I yeah, bitch. Jenna Slade. Like, this is totally an everyday look. So anyways, um, thanks for watching my video and thanks for being on the thanks talk for show. Me. Best sister ever. Thanks for watching and that's it. We're gonna do sister tag next. Oh yeah. Stay tuned. Bye.